Hello, my name is Pat Gillette, and I'm a counselor and yoga teacher, and I'm going to show you Brain Gym today. Brain Gym is a set of simple physical exercises that make your brain work better. They help you to calm down, learn more easily, perform better, and sleep better, I found. <laughs> so first step is to drink some water. Your brain works better if you're hydrated. Second step is to clear the brain buttons. So the first brain button is the collarbone point. So the collarbone point, you find the strong collarbones, stick your thumb there, bring it down, bring your thumb towards the center of your chest underneath your collarbone. And then when it stops, that's because there's a bone in the middle, the sternum. So where the sternum, that bone in the center of your chest meets your collarbone, that's where the collarbone point is. And you can put your your thumb in one part and your index finger or your middle finger in the other one and just rub. If you can't find it, don't worry, just tap. <laughs> tap with a V <laughs> on, your, uh, on the top of your chest. And put your other hand on your belly button. Oops, you can't really see my belly button. <laughs> and just rub that point. And I always yawn when my energy changes, so that's what's happening. And then switch hands, other hand on your collarbone point, just rubbing those points, other hand on your belly button, the hand on your belly button can just stay still. You don't have to do to move or tap on your belly button. And next point for clearing the brain buttons is your um, upper and lower lip. Um, so just moving two fingers across your upper lip and your chin and your other hand on your belly button. And then switching hands, two fingers and your belly button. And the next point is your tailbone. So just putting your your fingertips right over where your tailbone would be and your other hand on your belly button. And just hold that for a minute. And then switch hands, other hand on your belly button, other hand on your tailbone, fingertips over where your tailbone would be. And you don't have to tap or rub with this one. Good. So just hold that for a minute. And the third step is the active postures. So this one, the first one is called the cross crawl. So you just tap your right knee and then your left knee. Tap your right knee with your left hand, your left knee with your right hand, and back and forth. Opposite hand touching opposite knee. Just doing a, a gentle marching motion. I do maybe 10, 20 or 30 times doing this. Good. And now we're going to do what I call the marionette posture. So you're going to move your right hand with your right knee this time and your left hand with your left knee as though there's an invisible string holding your right knee to your right hand and holding your left knee to your left hand. So this is the stop and think energy. Stop and think, stop and think, stop and think when you're learning something new. Stop and think, stop and think, stop and think when you're learning something new. Good. And then go back to the cross crawl and do that 20 or 30 times.
Good. And now the next one, you make your right hand move towards your left heel and your right hand move towards your right hand towards your left heel and your left hand towards your right heel. And if you can touch, that's great, but you don't have to touch, just moving in that direction is all you need to do. So touching your right hand to your left heel, your left hand to your right heel, or going in that general direction. I have a sitting down brain gym video. If this is too difficult for you, you can try it sitting down. And you can put on your favorite music. Good. And the next one is the Saturday Night Fever one. So you're bringing your right arm up to the side while your left toe touches out and comes back. So you're keeping your weight in the middle and your toe just touches out and comes back. Right arm up and to the right while your left foot goes to the left and back. Left arm up and to the left while your right toe goes out and comes back. Good. And now we're going to do the cross country skier. So your right arm is coming forward while your left toe touches back. Again, it's your opposite arm and your opposite leg moving at the same time. Left arm comes forward while your right foot touches back and comes to center again. Right arm forward while your left foot touches back and comes back to center. Left arm forward while your right foot touches back and comes back to center. Good. So all, all of these, almost all of these are opposite arm with opposite leg and the only exception is when with the marionette posture. Good. And now come back to sitting. The fourth stage is hold the positive. So with hold the positive, you bring your arms out in front of you, thumbs down, cross your wrists, interlock your fingers, bring your hands down, under, and through so that your arms are against your chest. And then you're going to cross your ankles Cross your legs at your ankles. And then there's a special breathing exercise to do with this one. So inhale, touch the tip of your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Exhale, relax your tongue down. Inhale, tongue up. Exhale, tongue down. Inhale, tongue up. Exhale, tongue down. Slowing down your breathing. Inhale, tongue up. Exhale, tongue down. Your mouth can be open or closed. You can breathe in and out through your mouth or your nose, doesn't matter. Just going at your own pace. Inhale, tongue up. Exhale, tongue down. Just keep doing this for a few minutes. If this posture isn't comfortable for you, you can just cross your wrists uh, and just it's just touching those those points on the edge of your wrist between the bone and the and the bottom of the thumb bone. It's hard to describe anyway. Just crossing your wrists this way. and continue to do, do the breathing. Yeah. 
done and I'm getting a nice yawn, which means my energy is changing. I usually wait for two yawns with this exercise because there are actually two different things that happen energetically with this posture. And there's the second yawn. Okay, so now this part isn't, this isn't part of brain gym, but you can try it anyway if you want. Just put one hand or both on your heart and just think of anything that makes you feel love or gratitude. And just name anything that you're grateful for or anything that makes you feel love. It can be a person, place, animal, spiritual being, benevolent being, superhero, something in nature. Good. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed your brain gym.